Stretching isn't typically the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about building muscle and strength. It's often relegated to improving flexibility or preventing injuries, and even then its effectiveness is hotly debated. However, what if I told you that new research is shedding light on stretching's potential role in hypertrophy? In today's video, we're diving into a controversial and intriguing topic. Can stretching help you build muscle mass? The idea of muscles growing by stretching them to their maximum length, known as stretch-mediated hypertrophy, originated from animal studies. But when researchers turned their attention to humans, the results were mixed, leaving many questions unanswered. Some studies reported significant muscle growth, while others showed minimal gains. Why the disparity? One major factor could be the difference between reaching maximum muscle fiber length and an individual's stretch tolerance. Many people stop stretching as soon as they feel discomfort, missing out on its true potential. So let's stretch our minds, delve into the science and explore whether incorporating stretching into your routine can genuinely help you pack on muscle. Understanding Stretch Mediated Hypertrophy In exercise science, stretch mediated hypertrophy refers to muscle fiber growth directly resulting from stretching. This concept is often misunderstood in the fitness industry, where it's sometimes confused with muscle mass increase from exercises involving stretching positions. True stretch-mediated hypertrophy focuses solely on the intrinsic growth of muscle fibers due to stretch, excluding other factors like an increase in the number of muscle fibers or collagen addition. Significant muscle growth has been observed in animals subjected to extreme stretching protocols. For instance, chickens and quails exhibited remarkable increases in muscle size when their wings were continuously stretched. A 2022 meta-analysis reported increases in muscle fiber cross-sectional area, the number of fibers, and fiber length. These findings highlight the potential of stretch-mediated hypertrophy, but also underscore the ethical and practical challenges of replicating such protocols in humans. So how does stretch-mediated hypertrophy work? The key lies in the passive mechanical tension generated during static stretches. This tension comes from the elongation of the giant protein titan, which acts as a spring within muscle fibers. As muscles stretch, titan produces passive tension, activating mechanosensors that trigger hypertrophic responses, leading to muscle growth. Limb immobilization studies in animals have shown rapid sarcomere addition, known as sarcomerogenesis, which increases the number of sarcomeres in series enhancing muscle length and altering the muscle's length-tension relationship. These changes allow the muscle to generate more force at longer lengths. However, transitioning from animal to human studies has revealed mixed results. Ethical and practical constraints limit the ability to replicate similar studies in humans. While some studies report significant muscle growth, others show minimal gains, sparking further research and debate in this area. The Science of Stretching and Muscle Growth Researchers have discovered that stretching creates mechanical tension similar to resistance training, leading to structural damage and subsequent muscle protein synthesis. This tension is beneficial for muscle growth and increases insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, a key growth-promoting substance. However, simply achieving a full range of motion may not be enough. Training at longer muscle lengths where the muscle experiences a significant stretch is key. Studies comparing seated and lying leg curls, or exercises emphasizing the bottom portion of a movement, demonstrate that focusing on the stretch aspect can lead to superior muscle growth. While the literature on static stretching is somewhat limited and inconclusive for several muscle groups, some studies show remarkable outcomes in muscle hypertrophy. For example, a 2021 study compared two unilateral arm curl resistance exercise protocols with different elbow joint angles in 32 non-resistance trained young adults. The group holding their elbow joint in extension showed significant increases in muscle strength and thickness compared to the flexion group. This indicates that training at longer muscle lengths is more effective for muscle adaptations. Additionally, the extension group improved muscle strength in the non-trained arm, which was not observed in the flexion group. Similarly, a 2023 study on static stretching for the plantar flexors showed promising results. This study compared the effects of six weeks of stretch training and conventional hypertrophy training on maximal voluntary contraction, muscle thickness, and flexibility in 69 active participants. Both training methods significantly improved these metrics, with no significant differences between the groups. These findings suggest that long-term stretching can be an effective alternative to conventional resistance training for enhancing muscle strength and size although the practicality of such extensive routines is limited compared to shorter resistance training sessions. 
A groundbreaking 2024 study explored static stretching versus traditional strength training on pectoral muscle adaptations. Participants were divided into two groups, one performing static stretches and the other engaging in conventional strength training exercises. Both groups exhibited comparable increases in muscle strength and thickness, indicating that static stretching alone can induce significant muscle growth. However, the stretching protocol required participants to lie on a bench with a ratchet strap attached to their elbow joint, adjusted periodically to ensure maximum stretch for 15 minutes. This posed practical challenges such as equipment needs and the discomfort of maintaining maximal stretch holds. Practical Implications and Recommendations Implementing stretch-mediated hypertrophy in practical settings presents several challenges. Logistical and ethical constraints in human studies often limit the ability to conduct prolonged and intensive stretching protocols. Additionally, maintaining progressive muscle lengthening is crucial for continuous hypertrophy, but this can be difficult due to fatigue and the impracticality of long-duration stretching sessions. Stretching while the muscle is activated opens calcium ion channels leading to significant calcium ion related fatigue, which can impair subsequent workouts. This fatigue is more pronounced in stretched position exercises compared to contracted position exercises, similar to the fatigue seen in eccentric only training. However, stretching holds significant potential in rehabilitation and injury recovery. It offers a low stress, low load alternative for muscle maintenance during recovery periods. By incorporating stretching, patients can prevent muscle atrophy without placing undue stress on injured areas, making stretching an invaluable tool in physical therapy and recovery programs. To maximize hypertrophic responses, combining stretching with resistance training can be highly effective. For instance, performing static stretch holds immediately after lifting sets can enhance muscle growth by leveraging both active and passive mechanical tension. This approach balances the benefits of traditional resistance training with the unique advantages of stretch-mediated hypertrophy, potentially leading to greater overall muscle development. A 2022 study found that combining passive stretching with resistance training during interset periods may enhance muscle growth without extending session duration. This effectiveness relies on stretching immediately after the final rep to leverage the residual effects of eccentric actions. Though promising, further research is needed to determine optimal stretch intensity, duration, and the specific populations and muscle groups that benefit most. Understanding these studies highlights the untapped potential of stretching in muscle growth. While practical application remains a challenge, the key takeaway is clear. Incorporating stretching, especially at longer muscle lengths, can be a game changer in your muscle hypertrophy strategy. Whether for enhancing muscle growth or aiding in rehabilitation, understanding and applying these principles can significantly impact your fitness journey. At the end of the day, while stretching alone won't replace your heavy lifting sessions, it's clear that incorporating strategic stretching can supercharge your muscle growth and recovery. So next time you hit the gym, consider adding some well-timed stretches to your routine. But remember, resistance training is still king. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out these two must-watch videos right here. They're loaded with tips and strategies to help you optimize your training and reach your fitness goals. Until next time, keep pushing your limits and I'll see you in the next one.